My name is Volker Stoll. I really try to understand how to make organic egg a thriving business. When I started farming the Ort Valley, I decided to lease some land and grow 20 hectare. But then it went so well in the first year. And then the second year I did 30 hectare. And then the third year I did 200. And then everybody in the valley was saying, you're nuts. And next year, three other people did the same. In the fifth year, we ended up growing 330 hectare melons, you know, in the Ort Valley. I was spending 40 hours a week just checking crops. And you walk around, and you see aphids. Aphids never been a pest before. An aphid is, I don't know if even, it's not an insect, but it's little green flea and always end up in clusters. I thought I had the only problem, but then you realize the truck companies telling you there's very little going out and stuff because everybody got aphids. The industry in Canada collapsed over a very short time you know, without any science before. And we had an opportunity to move up to Darwin, to Mellon Farm in Darwin, if I would say, that way. And then we leased out our land, rented out our house, and moved to Darwin. The sixth season, and our problems being totally inconsistent. The very first two years, we had nearly no problems. And then the third year, all of a sudden, we had a, a, a vegetable bug come in, and it stinks uh, all the fruit, and there's nothing you can do about it. The year after, we had quite a bit of problems with grubs. And in the fifth year, we had huge problems with wireworm and, and like insects in the ground. It's totally inconsistent. That means it proves to me that I'm building health and I get little problems, but I hope this year or the next year that I have half the problems I had in the last six. I just have this attitude of that we have to feed the soil. I cover constantly my land. I always keep trash on it and I try to keep moisture there that the biology can grow and I got a solar panel which feeds the biology. That means I constantly feeding the soil with cover crops and solar panels, but then I try to build diversity. In the moment we mainly grow a, a native grass, like you grow a weed, and then we mowing it every three, four weeks. And after I mowed it, I put out compost and I spray on this emulsion. And that's how you to build diversity because you imagine there's a certain number of soil life in the ground which a solar panel feeds the sugars and then I cut that and put on more diversity. The biggest threat to soil and aquaculture is degradation, that it falls apart, I think, because I think we are struggling to understand it. We're struggling to understand the importance of going going to do something about it, you know. It's like that's that's what I it's that's the biggest the scary thing because consistently by all literature, by everything it shows us we're going the wrong way. I think soil is just our foundation of be healthy. I have seen if soil declines, everything else goes with it. Everything, families fall apart, everything, towns collapse, everything. If soil health declines, the world falls apart. That's why for me, if you obviously see that, you just have to love the soil and want to look after it. It's a bit like, you know, beating up your dog every day and then wonder why you sit. You know, it's like it's, that's why soil is for me, it's a foundation of for me to feel good when I go to bed. Not because I'm building it or anything, just it makes me feel good. I mean, it, when it's not there, then I now I go to the doctor a lot more often, I'm a lot more sick and I have a lot more problems in my life. That's why my soil is good and now I will be good. You know, that's, that's why I love my soil.